This video is sponsored by Stack. Google Stadia, Google's new cloud gaming service, has started to officially roll out. And for those who order the special Founders Edition bundle, you should be receiving your units this week. I just got mine here and I wanted to give you all a very early hands-on and first impressions of the new service that could finally make console gaming on a Mac a very real and enjoyable possibility. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. I wanna give everyone just a brief overview on Google Stadia for those who are still a bit confused on what it actually is. Um, Google Stadia is a cloud-based gaming platform that allows users to play games wherever Wi-Fi is available on pretty much any device. You can do it on phones, laptops, tablets, TVs, etc. You don't even really need to buy the new fancy Google Stadia controller that I have to actually take advantage of this service. Any Bluetooth controller will do. So if you have an Xbox or PS4 controller lying around, you could essentially use that. And here's how it works. You sign up for Google Stadia, which at launch only offers up the pro tier that starts at $9.99 a month, but it does give you 4K resolution on compatible TVs, better quality sound, free games, and discounts. The free tier, which is apparently launching next year, only allows for 1080p gaming with standard stereo sound and no free games or discounts. Now it is important to stress that the subscription service is only to use Google's cloud-based gaming platform to play these games. So if you don't wanna go out and spend thousands of dollars on a really expensive uh, custom gaming PC, or if you don't wanna spend a few hundred dollars on getting a new Xbox every year or whenever they refresh them, this would be another option out there where you can have Google do all of the legwork and you just bring basically the display and the controller. You still have to go out and spend anywhere from 30 to $60 at least in order to purchase some of the major gaming titles like Red Dead Redemption 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Mortal Kombat 11, and more. Now there's really not a whole lot of games available quite yet at launch, but as time goes on, that should change. Once you get all signed up for Stadia, which you can do by using the iOS app like I did, you can then claim some of your free games if you're using the pro tier. So I have Destiny 2 and Samurai Showdown. And you can do this via the app, or you can also purchase any new titles inside of the app, like the ones that I mentioned earlier. Unfortunately, playing games on your iPhone or iPad is not possible yet at launch, but should be something you can do in the near future which might end up being the theme of this video. A lot of the features that are enticing are not quite available yet. Right now, you can play games using your Mac, Windows PC, or Chrome OS, on your TV using a Chromecast Ultra or any Pixel 2, 3, or 4 running Android 10. To be honest, there are a lot of features that are missing at launch, which pretty much makes this entire experience feel like a beta. I tested the gameplay out using the latest 16 inch MacBook Pro by simply heading to the Stadia website on my Google Chrome web browser and logging into my Stadia account. All of my available games were ready to play with absolutely no downloading or installing these games. You just fire them up and you're ready to play. You can also pick up right where you left off on any other device. So if you're playing a game on your Mac, then you wanna to switch to a TV or tablet or phone, you can do so with no problems and it's a seamless experience. I was actually pretty impressed with how seamless and easy it is to get things up and running, but unfortunately that's where a lot of the good kind of stops. Gameplay, at least as of right now, on a MacBook is average at best. I experienced a lot of lag and resolution dips pretty much the entire time that I was testing it. The games would go through some good stretches of pretty stable gameplay, and then there'd be some stretches of, well, terrible gameplay. Certain games perform differently too. When I was filming the gameplay portion of this video, Destiny 2 had some hiccups, but then was pretty stable as I went on throughout the game. The other free game, Samurai Showdown, had a lot of resolution dips, but it wasn't really that laggy. I also purchased NBA 2K20 just to see what the experience was like, which by the way, you just pay for it and then it immediately shows up in your library of games, which is one of those perks of not having to download or install, it's just ready to play. I'm not sure if the controller was really having issues when I was playing this game, or if it's the game's fault or what, but you can see here that my players kind of have a mind of their own. It wouldn't recognize certain button presses or it would keep my player running constantly as if the joystick was stuck and I could not get him to stop. It was really weird. Stadia will rely on having a pretty solid internet connection 
Uh, and while my uh, office is equipped with 400 megabits per second in terms of download speeds, it's still not quite enough to have a complete cloud gaming experience, which is puzzling to me because the Stadia website says you'll need at least 35 megabits per second to achieve 4K gaming. And so there's clearly something else going on here that's causing these issues uh, during gameplay, but I have no idea what exactly the issue is. I really want to like Stadia because as a very casual gamer, I don't always have time to play games. And when I do find myself having some downtime, if I'm waiting somewhere or if I'm on a trip and I'm bored in my hotel room and I've got some time, I don't have my console with me. It's not like I bring my Xbox or my PlayStation with me at all times. If I throw my Stadia controller in a bag with me whenever I go on trips or really anywhere, I could play console games when the service is available on my iPad or iPhone. That would be really cool, especially once the free tier becomes available. I do find it a bit silly that I have to pay for both the platform and the games, but that's where we are right now. And it's not unheard of. There are other subscription services that are like this, so I'm just not used to it. I also mentioned that the Stadia controller is not necessary in order to use this service. But the Stadia controller itself is very nice and premium feeling. It pretty much feels like an Xbox controller. Google is offering the $129 premium bundle, which gets you everything the sold out Founders Edition has to offer, like three months of Stadia Pro for free and a Chromecast Ultra. The main difference here is that you'll get a standard white controller rather than this special Founders Edition that's in dark blue. If you're looking for additional controllers, you'll soon be able to pick up uh, a extra controller for $69 in three colors, white, black, and wasabi. The Founders Edition bundle also included a three month buddy pass to gift to a friend, but that's not included in the Premier Edition. Either way, I would love to know your thoughts on Stadia. Is this something that you'd be interested in signing up for and maybe ditching a console in favor of this new cloud gaming platform from Google? Go ahead and let us know in the comment section down below. Also, before we end this video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, Stack. Stack is a free tabless web browser for all you multitaskers out there. It organizes and manages all of your widely used web applications into one app. Stack allows users to run multiple websites and apps simultaneously, side by side, in vertically shaped cards, so that you can scroll several social media feeds together and read messages from different sources at a glance without having to switch tabs. You can even group these cards in so-called stacks on the sidebar and have a stack for messaging, one for emails, or one stack for each of your projects. Best of all, Stack runs these apps in private sessions for a more secure experience. Now, Stack is free. However, for those professionals out there who need a little bit more or require multiple workspaces, unified search, touch bar support, and more, the Stack team is releasing Stack Pro by the end of November. And for those who are interested in receiving a 50% discount or just want to check it out in general, click the link in the description down below. This has been Now with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.